Gary, what what are like what are some things you do when you're when you feel overwhelmed, angry, anxious? Like, do you I, have any practices I, that you yes. go to? Oh yeah, I go super macro and think about the death of my parents or my children. Yeah, that's so shocking. I, I just I just do. I just it helps me. I'm like I'm really upset about this, or this person really made me sad, or this is really bad, quote unquote. And then I'm like, okay, y yesterday. I just get back from vacation and we get really bad news at VaynerMedia. We lose a big account, real money. And now I'm like anxious because we may have to fire some people. You know, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. And it was left field. It was like not, I mean, we're talking to client November, December. It's been a multi-year client. Like this makes no sense. You know, anxiety, like you have a business, you know, like it hits you for a microsecond, but I quickly go into like, what if they call me and said they're doubling it, but somebody I love the most got cancer today. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I struggle with, my go-to is perspective at the highest level of a very narrow feeling of the 12, 15 people, Brandon Warnicky, my best friend, like who do I love the most? What if they were sick? What if they got COVID and died? What if they got hit by a car? Like I wouldn't give a shit about triple revenue growth. I wouldn't give a shit about finding 500 Babe Ruth rookie cards under a bench. I wouldn't care about the Jets winning the Super Bowl. I just wouldn't. Yeah. And so why am I gonna let, like, I can feel it, I'm a human, I'm not a fucking robot, but like, let's, let, let's get that perspective up. And so the more nervous or upset I am, the more I push the perspective up. Yeah, that's huge. That, speaking of cliche sayings, that cliche saying, the glass is half full, the glass is half empty, are both right. It just depends on which one you take. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as cheesy as it is, I mean, it's very true. And that was, again, one of my things, boom. You know what? I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I'm done acting like I got dealt a bad hand. Because you didn't. Yeah. It was the way you decided to look at it. Yep. And I think that it's funny you mentioned like death because I think that's another thing that made me grow up quicker that I could actually look at like a positive thing is when my brother and sister died when I was 15. At least pulling positive things out of that, right? Like yeah. that made me realize, wow, life isn't that serious because it can be taken from you at any moment. And I feel like that's just an awesome perspective. That's awesome that you use that to make it's, your perspective. Uh, it's awesome that I haven't had to go through that pain that you had to, to for some reason naturally feel it. Yeah. And I, I don't claim to feel it the same way that people have actually gone through it, but I would be lying and not authentic here right now if I didn't tell you when I go into that perspective mode, it I feel things. I yeah. get real, you know, I get really, you know, and I'm just so then great. It's almost like, it's almost like, you know, like, you know, like, you're like, you know, it's kind of like when the cop co lights go on behind you and you're like, Ugh, and then they drive past you like, ah, or like when you finally do something you're anxious about and you just can, <sighs> by the way, breathing's really interesting to me. I, I know this, yeah. I know this is well documented and there's many experts on it. And lately I've thoughtfully done a deeper breath or two occasionally when I'm feeling something, it's really been nice. Oh, it's great. You can sometimes feel your heart rate slow down like like physically it is yeah yeah 